Hey you guys, thanks for coming to check out another video. So today's video is super different than what I normally do. Today's video is a mukbang and this is my first time doing one on my channel. Um, I really enjoy watching them so I hope you guys enjoy this one. Today we're just going to be chit chatting while I eat some food. Um, so what do I have today? Today I have um, Alfredo spaghetti, I have um, sauteed mussels and shrimp, and I also have sausage today, um, some broccoli that I cooked, I also have some king crab legs, and I have B-Love's famous sauce here that me and my daughter did make from scratch. So really this is a review of the sauce mostly, and um, just like a chit chat. I am starving, so I'm not even going to be pretending to eat. I am literally going to be eating. Um, I haven't really eaten a lot today. Mm. I haven't really eaten a lot today. I did have a breakfast sandwich this morning. But that was super early this morning. That was when I dropped the kids off to school. So, I'm hungry. Um, so, I made the B-Love sauce with my daughter. And I'm going to go ahead and just give it a try now. Mmm. Mmm. <clears throat> That's good. It's got some kick to it, like, on the end. So, the sauce has, like, kick on the end of the sauce. So, when you taste it, it you just taste the flavors. And then, <clears throat> when you're almost done, like, eating it, you get the kick from the heat. Mmm. That is good. That is really good. So, I've been watching mukbangs, and this sauce has continually come up. And I'm like, who is B Loves? At first, I was thinking it was B Smith because she does food. Quickly realized it wasn't B Smith. B Love. So I'm like, totally different. And um, wow, this sauce is banging. So, I wanted to try it for myself. And then I realized that she released the sauce mix on Amazon. I heard it was the number one seller on Amazon. I'm like, okay. Let me go ahead and get me a packet of B Love's Smackalicious Sauce. So I carry my happy little tail over to Amazon. Then I'm just gonna click in, type in B Love Sauce, and order me a packet. Since it's a number one seller. So I'm going. I go on to Amazon to try to order the sauce pack. I type it in, nothing shows up. Completely blank. Other sauces come up. Her name doesn't come up. Her sauce mix packet, nothing comes up. I'm like, this is weird. This is supposed to be an Amazon number one seller. And I type it into Amazon and nothing comes up. It doesn't come up saying sold out. Nothing. It starts offering me other sauces. Like, this is weird. Mm. It's too much. It's too much with the kielbasa sausage. It's already salty and flavorful. I wouldn't dip the kielbasa in there. It's a bit much. I need more Alfredo sauce on my pasta. It's a little dry. But I will admit, 
cooking for a mukbang, 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 whatever you want to call it. Cooking for it is very, you have to be very strategic. Okay. You don't want to, you have to try to like cook everything so that it ends at the same time so that you don't have to keep warming the food up. That's something I always wondered about with mukbangs. Like, is the food hot that they're eating? Because you have to fix so many things. Then you have to set up your camera, set up your microphone, do all this like video stuff. Like, is the food actually hot? Mine wasn't. By the time I got it and got it, mine wasn't. I did put this in the microwave. Luckily, my station in the microwave right here. So that was all good. Let's try one of these shrimps. These shrimp are huge. I got them from the freezer section, actually, of my local Harris Teeter. Went to Harris Teeter last night after I went to a day party that sort of ran into a night party. And um, I had a craving for seafood and I was like, ooh, perfect, I'm craving seafood. I've been wanting to try the V-Love sauce. I showed the kids the video and they were like all down. So look how big this shrimp is. Huge, huge. That shrimp is like the size of my hand. So let's try the shrimp and the V-Love sauce. This is what the sauce looks like. So all the seasonings are down at the bottom and the top, what you see, is like basically butter. So this is the sauce. So it's more or less just a dipping sauce. Mm. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm-hmm.
I followed the recipe to the letter. Well, well, other than blending the stuff. And I didn't use the onion because I was just not, I was not gonna use the onion. I don't care for onion like that. I don't mind the flavor of onion, but I just, I don't care for like chopped onion. So I did the garlic chopped, I did the ginger, and I know she used minced ginger, but I have fresh ginger here. I'm Caribbean, so I always have ginger in the house. So I was like, we're just gonna chop up our ginger. So we chopped up our ginger. We chopped up our garlic. Um, everything else was powder. And yeah, so we blended, we mixed all the powder seasonings together in a bowl. Melted the butter down. And then we um went ahead and oh, should I try one of the crab legs? Try a crab leg. Let's try some crab in this sauce. Mm. Mm. Try some crab. different flavors in it but it blends together so freaking good like, it's good when you can taste you can taste all the different flavors in it awesome um so yeah, we mixed all the dry seasonings together, then we melted the butter. Once we melted the butter, we added in the fresh ginger, the fresh garlic. I omitted the onion. I still use the onion powder. I almost forgot the um, garlic, to be honest. Um, <clears throat> but I remember it at the last minute. Yum. So, that's what we did. Um, Once the butter was melted and that stuff was in there, we went ahead and I should have got a scissor. Mmm. Um. And all the the um, ginger and stuff was in there. We went ahead and. I should have got a scissor. Yum. Yes. Y'all, I am so hungry. I know this is gonna be like the most disjointed review ever, but I'm crushing this food. I have not eaten. I always wonder, do like muck fingers, do they wait all day to eat? Okay, eat all my food. That seems like maybe they're like not eating on the days that they do muck fangers. They just eat so much. And I always watch them eat. They always finish all their food. Or do you think it's a trick of the camera? Like, sometimes I think maybe it's a trick of the camera. And it's the way they position the plate in the camera. The uh hoot -huh. is always so extremely close to the camera that it makes me think maybe it's not as much food as it looks like, but it's more or less camera placement. Because they always eat all the food. And it looks like a ginormous amount of food. Um, 
it's either either a trick of the camera is not that much food or they literally don't eat all day and then when they do their mukbang they're like starving like I was but I did have a breakfast sandwich this morning anyhow anyhow so we started to um, put the sauce together we added the ginger broccoli I mean broccoli garlic butter Worcestershire sauce Worcestershire sauce Worcestershire and then we added hot sauce <clears throat> added all that stuff and literally you guys we even added the beer we literally just like did it to the letter we didn't add the water that was the last thing that we were considering adding and we were just like mm, I don't know so we passed on the water everything else we did to the letter and when I tell you this is bomb this is so good I'm proud of me and my little dragon we made this together it's good. she's 10 um, she's been on this channel before mm, 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 mm. when I tell you the ginger Ginger makes a big difference with this. Like, it wouldn't be the same without the ginger. But first, we cut up a lot of ginger. And we were pouring it in, and I was like, oh, I think that's too much ginger. So, we took out some of the ginger. Because it was like OD. But now that I'm eating it, perfect. Perfect amount of heat. And honestly, the recipe is so easy because everything is one tablespoon. Oh, mm -hmm. Man. everything is one tablespoon. From wet ingredients to dry ingredients, everything, one tablespoon. So easy to make. I will definitely be making this again. But anyhow, is that weird that Amazon does not even have a listing that says sold out for V Love Sauce? Well, is Amazon hating right now? Amazon, you look like a hater. Well, at least it can say sold out instead of just directing people to other sauces. Shady. Anyhow, she's the Amazon number one seller. Kudos to you, bids. Um, Amazon number one seller. Do that. Um, so anyway, I would suggest this sauce. Um, my daughter was like, well, now that everybody knows how to make it, Who's gonna buy the sauce? And I was like, listen, I'm here. If I could have bought a sauce pack, but I was spending $40 at the grocery store on all these different spices, baby. Trust and believe, your girl would have bought that sauce pack. Because seafood is not cheap. That's like when you feeding three kids and some. Seafood is not cheap. Spices are not cheap not to mention not finding the spices that you need when you go to the store because either it's sold out or whatever it was a headache I told my daughter people will buy that sauce pack whether she has that damn one recipe online or not because convenience that's what everybody wants. People pay for convenience. It'll always be like that. Anywho, I'm gonna eat a little bit more and then I'll come back to you guys with my final thoughts. 
right, you guys. So I am actually full already, and I thought I could actually do better than this, but looks like all I could eat was one, two, three, four mussels, three shrimp, two sausage, half of my Alfredo, and one, two, three king crab legs. So there is a bunch left over. I guess I will be sharing with the kids or doing another mukbang another day. Um, I have a bunch of sauce left over and this is not how much sauce it made. It actually made like double this. So I have more sauce um, left over and then I also have more of the um, dry sauce. We didn't add all of it to all the butter I think the recipe calls for four sticks of butter and I was like, eh, let's do two and a half. So we split the sauce pack in half and we only used two and a half sticks of butter. And um, so I still have more of the dry seasoning already mixed together. So yeah, you guys, this is my review on B-Love's Smackalicious Sauce. Um, I think it's a bomb. I mean, kudos to you, B-Love. Um, you're doing your thing. It's amazing. It's inspiring to me as an entrepreneur, as a YouTuber. Your rise to fame and stardom is awesome. And your product is dope as well, so it's great to see someone being elevated to a high level and you know the product that they offer is actually good so I was super excited to try it I love it have you guys ever tried B loves smackalicious sauce and um, if you did what did you think uh, did your recipe come out the way that it was supposed to would you change anything about the sauce I think it's great the way it is and um, yeah so thank you guys so much for watching please make sure you subscribe to this YouTube channel if you like these type of videos please let me know it's definitely not my typical style of video but I was excited to go ahead and review the sauce if you guys want to see more let me know in the comments all right I'll see you guys in the next one peace